in this topic, I will discuss derivative interpreted as a slope. Considering a Cartesian plane, x and y axis and a curve. A line that is the curve is what we call a tangent line. Assuming at point P with the angular coordinates x sub 1 and y sub 1. A straight line touches at point P is what we call a tangent line PT. Another point along curve which is point Q with the angular coordinates of x sub 2 and y sub 2. And the straight line PQ is what we call a secant line. And the slope of the secant line is the ratio of change in y all over change in x. As change in x approaches 0, q is also approaches p along the curve. In order that the slope of the secant pq approaches as its limit, the slope of the curve at point p or the slope of the tangent line, pt. The slope of the tangent line at p is equal to the limit of change in y all over change in x as change in x approaches 0. That tangent line, that slope, and that limit will be the value of what we call the derivatives. Verify if the slope of the line is also the slope of the curve. From the equation of the line of slope m, y is equal to mx plus b. To determine the slope of the derivatives by using increment method, just replace y into y plus change in y, as well as the value of x into x plus change in x. Then solve for the value of the change in y, just transpose the value of y into the right side of the equation, and that is now becomes negative and substitute the value of y which is equal to mx plus b. Expand the equation, you have now the change in y is equal to mx plus m change in x plus b minus mx minus b. Combine similar terms, the value of change in y is equal to m change in x. Divide the entire equation by change in x. So we have now the ratio of change in y all over change in x is equal to n change in x all over change in x. Change in x will be cancelled out, so therefore you have now the ratio of change in y all over change in x is equal to n. Then the last one, we have established the limit as change in x approaches 0 of the ratio of change in y all over change in x, which is also equal to m, which is the slope. So therefore, we can see that the slope of the line is also the slope of the curve. For example, number one, find the slope of the curve y is equal to x squared minus 1 at point 2 and 3. From the equation y is equal to x squared minus 1, we're going to determine the slope using increment method. Just replace y into y plus change in y as well as the value of x into x plus change in x. Solve the value of change in y and substitute the value of y which is equal to x squared minus 1. Expand the equation. The value of change in y which is equal to x squared plus 2 x plus change in x plus change in x squared minus 1 minus x squared plus 1. Combine similar term. The resulting equation of change in y which is equal to 2x times change in x plus change in x is squared. So if you notice the right side of the equation, the common factor which is change in x. So we're going to factor out change in x and divide the entire equation by change in x. And change in x will be cancelled out. So the resulting equation of the ratio of change in y over change in x is equal to 2x plus change in x. Establish the limit as change in x approaches 0 of the ratio of change in y all over change in x, which is equal to 2x, plus the value of change in x will become 0. The limit 
obtention oil over Genex approaches zero is also equal to the slope. Just substitute the value of x, which is equal to 2. Therefore, the limit of change in y all over change in x as change in x approaches 0 is equal to 4, which is also the slope of the curve y is equal to x squared minus 1 at point 2 and 3. Example number 2. Find the slope of the curve y is equal to 1 over x plus 2 at point negative 3 and negative 1. So the first is we're going to replace the value of y into y plus change in y as well as the value of x which is x plus change in x. Solve the value of change in y then transpose the value of y to the right side of the equation and that is now becomes negative. Substitute the value of y which is 1 all over x plus 2. Then find the lowest common denominator, just multiply the denominator by the denominator, then multiply 1 by x plus 2 and negative 1 by 1 plus change in x plus 2. Then expand the equation. We have now the change in y is equal to x plus 2 minus x minus change in x minus 2 all over the denominator. Combine similar term, so therefore we have now change in x all over x plus change in x plus 2 times x plus 2. Divide the entire equation by change in x, then change in x will be cancelled out and that is now the numerator becomes negative 1. Establish the limit as change in x approaches 0. So the value of the denominator of change in x becomes zero and combine. So therefore the limit of change in y over change in x as change in x approaches zero. The denominator becomes x plus 2 squared. So since we are going to determine the slope of the curve at point negative 3 and negative 1. Just, value, just substitute the value of x which is negative 3, then simplify, therefore the limit of the change in y all over change in x as change in x approaches 0 is equal to negative 1, or that is the slope of the curve y is equal to 1 all over x plus 2 at point negative 3 and negative 1. Find the slope of the curve y squared is equal to 3x plus 1 at point 1 and 2. From the equation y squared is equal to 3x plus 1. Simplify first. We have now the value of y which is equal to the square root of 3x plus 1. Using increment method, just substitute the value of y into y plus change in y as well as the value of x into x plus change in x. To solve the change in y, just transpose the value of y which is becomes negative. Then substitute the value of y which is the square root of 3x plus 1. Next, divide the entire equation by change in x. So we have now the ratio of change in y over change in x is equal to the square root of 3 times the quantity x plus change in x plus quantity plus 1 minus the square root of 3x plus 1 all over change in x. Multiply and divide by the conjugate of the numerator. Just change the sign negative into positive, then multiply both the numerator and the denominator. And the resulting equation which is now becomes 3 times x plus change in x plus 1 minus 3x plus 1 divided by, by change in x multiplied by the conjugate. Simplify the numerator. So we have now the ratio of change in y over change in x which is equal to 3x plus 3 change in x plus 1 minus 3x minus 1 over the denominator. We combine similar terms of the numerator, 
and the resulting value of the ratio of change in y all over change in x is equal to 3 change in x all over change in x times the quantity square root of 3 times the quantity x plus change in x plus quantity plus 1 plus the square root of 3x plus 1. Change in x will be cancelled out, so therefore we have now the resulting equation. The numerator becomes 3. Establish the limit as change in x approaches 0. So therefore, substitute the value of change in x which is equal to 0 to the equation and simplify the limit of change in x approaches 0 of the ratio of change in y over change in x is equal to 3 all over 2 a square root of 3x plus 1. And that is now the derivatives. Since we're going to determine the slope, the substitute the value of x which is equal to 1 from the given point. Substitute, then simplify. So therefore, the limit as change in x approaches 0 of the ratio of change in y over change in x is equal to 3 all over 2 a square root of 4. Square root of 4, which is equal to 2. 2 times 2 is equal to 4. Therefore, the answer is 3 4, which is the slope of the curve y squared is equal to 3x plus 1 at 1 and 